A few weeks ago on Oklahoma Gardening, we were showing how to cover newly planted squash with Remay fabric pr protectant to keep out squash bugs and cucumber beetles. And we've been very successful in this planting. Now the wind just pulled our Remay off this weekend in a storm and we've decided to leave it off because these are starting to flower. And as promised, we've managed to keep out all squash bugs and cucumber be beetles so far. But from here on out, we'll have to keep up a spray program of sabadilla dust or some other protectant to keep those pests at bay since we have to leave it uncovered to let the honeybees in. But so far, we have a very healthy crop of squash started here. In the background, the irrigation is running on our pumpkin patch. They're getting plenty of moisture and getting off to a good start there. If you remember a few weeks ago, we just seeded those for fall. Remember, if you're planting pumpkins, make sure to time them properly. And then between here and the very back, we just rototilled in our sweet corn and Indian corn plantings. Much of it got taken out by a recent hailstorm. So Dennis has rototilled that in. And we're going to plant a variety trial of winter squashes. And this is not any serious research, but it's for your benefit. We have nine varieties going in. Everything from Hubbard squash to acorn squash. We even have a butternut squash that supposedly grows to 12 inches long and has an extra long neck that has plenty of, of uh, food in it. We'll also be planting spaghetti squash and some other unusual types of winter squashes. So I know you want to stand by and, and watch that later this fall as it develops. Well, one thing I want you to remember when you're planting cucurbits, which includes any of the squash or pumpkins or watermelons or cucumbers, don't worry about having them side by side in the garden. You may have cross-pollination, but it's not going to affect the crops that you harvest this summer. If you were saving the seed from those crops and using them next year, you might come up with some oddities in the garden. But don't worry about cross-pollination if you're strictly harvesting the fruit just for fresh eating. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.